Hey, Chase! Welcome back to my Ergo Proxy Reactions. We are now at episode 15, and last time... Last time was the most confusing episode for me. I don't fully get it, but it's, I think it's supposed to be confusing at the same time, and there's a lot of hints as to what is ha actually happening, but it seems like there was just a bunch of doppelgangers, and the doppelganger wants to die with someone, so... That's... That's the surface level of everything that happened. Doppelgangers. The doppelganger wants to die with someone, so she, so it tried to kill itself with someone else. <laughs> and then uh, Rhea actually saw through it. Uh, it seems more and more that um, the entity that is the Ergo Proxy is kind of separate from Vincent Law. The the way they usually talk, it, it usually feels that way, especially with the. Last episode having a mirror between literally Vincent Law and him talking. And that also happened with the memory guy in the library. So, I don't know. But uh, I get the feeling I'm onto something. So, let's, let's just go with that. There's gonna be two versions of this reaction video. A fiction version, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Version, which you can find in the description below. And a timer-based version, which you're watching right now. If you want to sync up your own media to the timer based version, you can do that. What if I'm saying countdown is gonna count down for five because that's what they do and a zero is the same thing. My videos are playing on my screen. I went like that because I was looking at the first frame and it, it's like a game show. And then there's author aids watching Vincent, I assume. I can't tell right now because of uh he's kinda of far away. It's kinda of low quality drawing. So yeah, let's do this. Timer! Nightmare quiz show. Okay. I know this! I just I I read something about Basta, okay. Pythagoras! Pythagoras! Sword! Yeah! I don't know that one. Nanka <laughs> Boka. Double effect, okay. <laughs> Four degrees. <laughs> Seven. Six. Ah. Noble person, guy. Mr. Dynamite. <laughs> Ah, okay. I didn't know that one too. I don't know. Ah. <laughs> That's kind of brilliant. <laughs> Fourth wall breaking, and I love it. Meta. Anyways, if you're watching this on the PAP, please check out the YouTube channel. Leave a like there, subscribe there. Uh, especially if you're just watching the PAP, it really helps out because, you know, I kind of need the retention or the engagement. So, yeah. Thank you to the Patreon's names at the beginning and end. Yeah! You complete my faith. I'm using different subtitle files. I don't know if this is better. Because uh, I the next episodes of the torrent that I got don't have these parts. Don't have the PJS ones anymore. I don't know why. There's, this has the most seeds, so I don't know. I thought I said you will feel my pain. <laughs> Come and say. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm in a weird mood. <laughs> Come and save! Oh, so that's what the whispering sounds- what the, was, the whispering was saying. I honestly forgot the title of this song, so I lost that question. Wow, it's bright. We never see anything this bright.
This is weird. Choo choo choo! I guess. Feels about right, this kind of stuff. Yeah, seems about right. So who wants to be a millionaire? I don't know. <laughs> what? Ah, oh, so it's been we've been doing this for a while now. Uh huh. Challenger dies. Yay! I'm gonna try to answer as much as I can as well. <laughs> These are just trivia questions, eh? Who wants to be in Jeopardy? <laughs> <laughs> That's the best title you can have. Ha! Huh. That's why he's back with his squinty eyes. Oh God! Yay, it's talking to us. Uh, you're a pickle. What is it? In a few moments. Ah, uh, okay, I doubt I'm gonna get any of this. Oh, yo! Okay. Ah, uh, that hat. <laughs> I honestly don't know. Who is it? Who is it? Ah! Oh. Uh. That is actually correct! That is... I mean, that's true. That is definitely real. <laughs> I gotta agree with that one. Frick.
Please don't tell me you're gonna say Pino. You're gonna say Pino. <laughs> the thing on the lower right corner is freaking me out. I hate it so much. Who is it? Pino! No, <laughs> I knew it. Yeah, that is true. That's not very mean. It's the Ergo proxy. <laughs> I don't know. Really? I don't know. It's Vincent himself? I don't know. Uh, I honestly don't know anymore. We don't have that many characters. Is it the host? Nick, what? What does that mean? <laughs> Is the Ergo Proxy himself? Is the Ergo Proxy? Oh, I was wrong. Okay. Close. Who? 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 That's kind of unfair. <laughs> Okay, okay, I get it, sure. I like this episode a lot. <laughs> this spit is going everywhere. I can't see anything. What? Ha! <laughs> it looks alive, but it's not. Is there a ship? Did you just throw that in there? Buh! <laughs> Sorry. It's uh is that all three? <laughs> I freaking love this guy and hate him at the same time because he's torturing a our, our, our boy. <laughs> oh we're getting context? Is watching this? So it's literally being shown? I thought 
thought it was more of a figurative thing. Your girl! Failures as creators. Failures as creators. Wow. Um. Yeah, yeah, and Pino is enjoying this way too much. Vincent, you're an idiot. I have to agree, Vincent is an idiot. But still, he's trying his best. This is kind of brilliant way to do this, okay. Uh-huh. Accurate. Uh huh. Yeah, it, it takes a long time. <laughs> These drawings are really cool. We're we're skipping so many different things. Hmm. <laughs> So go away. Q Q Q Q. A smartphone. Sorry. <laughs> Created what? I don't. It's blood. <laughs> Riel's just done. She just doesn't care. <gasps> That's actually kind of cool. And <laughs> she doesn't give a shit. Apollo! Oh, is it the Apollo 11? Probably not. No! That is the apocalypse! Judgment Day, um... This episode is brilliant. So, it's a fictional one. I was thinking in real world stuff because you were talking about real world stuff for a while. Long ago. That's very important. Uh, buzz in for your life. Where are we gonna go? It looks so mad. <laughs> Thank you for questioning it. Oh, we're going just uh, who wants to be a millionaire mode. Yeah, it is just who wants to be a millionaire now. Ask the questions. Dang, dang. <laughs> Do or die final quiz. Q Q Q. <laughs> and <laughs> even the narration just goes Q Q Q. Okay. It's 
start. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, I didn't know that. Is this what happened to humanity? Are we gonna continue from this line of logic or questioning? That is true. Ah! Okay, I don't know what that is. Nice! Yay! What on that? Yeah, you're a nice guy, I guess. Um. Yeah, I want to know. I want to know. That's a conclusion, the pause, okay. Subconscious. There's something or other project, really. Nantoka project. Yeah, the boomerang project, because uh the spaceship. Sun Oh, I didn't know that. He knew something, he did it. I don't get that one. We're just skipping through everything. Oblivion. Oblivion, wake up, fight, enjoy, understand. Yeah, he's gonna die. He's gonna exp <laughs> He's just gonna combust suddenly. No, I thought he were gonna combust like <laughs> spontaneously. That looked way too easy compared to what uh, Vincent was doing. Yay! Just <laughs> doesn't give a shit anymore.
Proxy 1. Have we seen Proxy 1? Imagine saying that on national television. Right now, I'm going to die! This is my favorite episode so far. And this is a brilliant and unique way to do exposition. God damn it, that was good. <laughs> Stop the noise of trying to get some rest. This Song. This one song seriously slowly made me into a Radiohead fan. <laughs> Their music is great. <laughs> but not an Android. Was there? <laughs> Review? Ah, uh, uh, um, and it's disconnected from Sally. Okay, um, that was a very good episode. As I said, this is probably one of the best ways I've seen exposition be done <laughs> in anything <laughs> through a game show. Through a game show. So, what did we learn here? We learned about uh, the past uh, society where uh, people are dying and it was, there's a connection to some kind of nuclear power plant because of it. Um, people are trying to escape the Earth. Uh, I don't know if it succeeded or not on a spaceship called Boomerang. And uh, proxies started appearing. It became a big issue for humans. At some point, uh, there, we're gonna meet, or we already met someone that is the proxy one, which I'm assuming is the very first proxy and is one of the biggest reasons why everything's happening. Um, yeah, what else did we learn? That was quite a bit of things. Okay, um... I wanna talk! Um... Let's see here. It's very entertaining, first of all. Like, first, yeah, people do this a lot in, uh, in TV. There's a... Uh, Bikini clad women just showcasing it. Okay, so first, because of. Because of. What is, what is the first game actually? The first ga game what we saw was actually the, 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 the fast questions, which I answered like three of properly, <laughs> correctly. Okay, so we start with the panel quiz, which is very interesting. Because uh, we get a simple idea as to what uh, Proxy 1 is. First, the biggest thing that we know of right now is that Proxy 1 has connections towards Ergo Proxy or Vincent Law. And before I even thought about Proxy 1 or it being anything else, I actually thought that what we're trying to do here is uh, more we're zoning in more on the idea that uh, Vincent needs to accept the fact that he is a proxy. That's my first thought. I'm glad we didn't go that direction, actually. I'm kind of glad. So, Proxy 1. Okay, let's see. Uh, I want to see exactly what they say. Okay, okay. Whee! Oh, go back a bit. Give it a try. So, first one. Likes to wear black. Okay, that's not very helpful. Uh, has a mean... Okay, that's not also not very helpful. This might be helpful. Appears to be young, but they're elder than they look. It's either really helpful in the fact that 
there's some one of the characters that we already know of is proxy one and is a hint towards that or it's just a hint towards the idea that they are uh, of uh, a different kind of life and they probably live hundreds of years or something I like that it actually really encompasses uh, pretty much real mayor so much. She always has a mean look on her face. She always wears black. And I don't know about her acting young. She, I think more on the other side. She tries to act more mature than she actually is. Ah! Let me out! Okay, next one. Able to withstand the cold, so... It, Probably pertaining to the idea that it's superhuman. I wonder... Shy around strangers, which could give us a clue at that uh, we might have already met this person again, and I'm not entirely sure. Their eyes on Vincent, which makes me think immediately that this is someone that Vincent was familiar with before he lost his memories. I think that's 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 the most uh, accurate I can go with. Okay. Yeah, look at Pino. That doesn't look mean. Apparently, they can hear what they're talking about as well. Um, is there airhead? Keeps his mouth shut. Okay. Doesn't doesn't isn't very helpful. Surprisingly prone to tears. I don't know. That would certainly. Okay. 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 Soul winning. You must. I don't know. Let's go back a bit. Interesting. It's coming to you now, isn't it? Break in. Likely has a hidden side. I get the feeling this is someone. Manipulates. Uh, okay, that's very interesting. Uh, naked under blue skies. I. Because of the way it's like this, I get the feeling that. Is that. I thought it was Vincent in the opening that does that. Maybe it's, it's proxy one. And it literally just looks like the silhouette of uh, Ergo Proxy. Um, okay, what is the next game? Okay, I'm just gonna go through the episode entirely, to be honest. Okay. Gross, it's alive, and it's not really alive. <laughs> it's giving the weird hints. Is this the rocket? And the short breaks breaks the fourth wall. And we go to this little narration about how humans try to escape the earth. Um awakening environment. Overabundance of data carefully preserved as the origin of the species. In these cities, the ability to adapt to a changing environment was unnecessary. So we're talking about the domes, gotcha. So that's how they came to be. And this is being broadcasted in the world, I'm assuming. Because there's not much in the world, to be honest right now. But uh, it's through a satellite. What's really interesting is that they're literally, they literally want to show this off. I wonder if that's pertaining to the proxies' personality specifically. Because it seems like the proxies really just want... They're Mr. Meesix. <laughs> this is a weird comparison. But it seems like they want this one thing that is their purpose to be done and over with and then die. Especially with the last, the la the last prophecy which seems to just want to be loved. And the moment that uh, the, the, the Vincent was going along with the idea of him dying with him, it seems that, yeah, we should just die together. So, that is that it? Proxies want to die but they want to fulfill the rules first? We're currently. I like that uh, the Atlas is really looking at uh, his girl right here. I, are they around the same age actually? Huh. Looks younger than. I was wondering because uh, I get the feeling that the Atlas is a lot older than he looks and talks. So I don't know. It's, it's definitely not Proxy One because of his uh, motives. I doubt that it is. And so Triple Choice is next. And also. The heads are the, the statues and the grandpa's watching. <laughs> I like that Riel's first line in this entire episode is just 
What is this idiocy? <laughs> because I gotta agree, there's some, there's some, the, a lot of the questions in the beginning actually uh, were very simple questions that uh, you, you would probably know. <laughs> um, and Riel just doesn't give a shit. She just doesn't try at all. Okay, so we go through the history of the Earth, which is very interesting because this is accurate so far. Like, uh, we, we skipped a bunch of different things, uh, which makes it feel more miraculous than it actually is. Um, then the bone, and the first tool, and it's a, it's a misdirect. Like, it's a rocket is technically a tool that you would use, that humans created. But the word tool has a different connotation to it other than that. So yeah. And Pino literally drew pixels. That's probably the best thing she's done in this episode. It was so cute. Ah, I get it. It's not that it's a tool. It's the idea of evolution of what mankind has been creating. And this seems to be the pinnacle of what we have created, which is the... The fact that we can leave the earth and go somewhere else. That's really interesting. Okay. Anything else? Uh, not much. <laughs> I wonder how she drew this. What kind of pen did you give this little girl? <laughs> the Boomerang Star. So yeah, there's, there's also uh, a mention of the Project Boomerang, which is bringing humans somewhere else, okay? Interplanetary immigration ship built by human race long ago. That's also important, it's long ago. So, what exactly happened that, uh, uh, did they escape? Was, was it possible? Uh, did, were they hindered by something? And this is all that's left of humanity? I don't know. And messages. I like that he turns very stern and just, just goes out of character. And this is just who wants to be a millionaire now. Uh, uh, I just want to mention, uh, first of all, VLC crashed. That's a thing I need to mention. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Who wants to be in Jeopardy is probably my favorite uh, talk show, not talk show, quiz show parody name ever. <laughs> who wants to be in Jeopardy, get it? It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a double meaning because there's Jeopardy, which is the other game show. But then there's also the fact that who wants to be in a bad position, like who wants to be in jeopardy, and who wants to be a millionaire, so it's a triple. I like it. Uh, let's see, is it recording now? It's recording now, okay. Um, we're, we're quite a bit away. Bam, bam, bam. I want to go through the questions, because there was a mention of some kind of nuclear power plant that killed 85% of people, if I'm not wrong, if I'm not incorrect. Oh, frick. Japanese and English. Eight seven six five four three two one. One million points. Q Q Q. Okay, okay, okay. Then I died that very moment. You didn't die that very moment. You waited a bit. Um. Clumps of ancient methane gas in its solid form. The most promising alternative energy source. I'm gonna look this up actually. Methane hydrate. Okay, I'm gonna look this up. Sorry. Methane hydrate. Science Direct. Oh, this is a pretty good website. What is methane hydrate? It's a solid compound in which large amounts of methane gas molecules are caged into a, within a crystalline structure of water. So it's a real thing. That makes sense. So, ooh, that's kind of cool. Things are what? As a new oh, so it's actually being considered to be maybe a new energy source because you know oil and the fossil fuels are kind of bad for us and we can't really revert that anymore. So I wonder how good this is, but it seems to also be dangerous. Uh huh. Stability conditions is stable at lower temperatures and high pressure conditions. Okay. So it's not renewable, that's kind of sad, but um, it, it would make sense for this to be used other than 
freaking isn't isn't it still like shortcut fossil also oh, it's still fossil fuel it's still natural gas okay we need to move away from that <laughs> like right now it's okay to use it but uh, until we have like plans for something else we need to actually use the renew renewable energy sources so yeah there's methane uh, me there's this hydrate methane hydrates on mars that's cool uh okay okay interesting interesting stuff okay um i want to see the next thing as a result of a chain collapse well many hundred what percentage of living so that's what we're doing so uh, i was right uh, first of all uh vincent that is i'm with real on this one real needs to slap this guy like you survived that means it's at least nine ten point nine 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 <laughs> I mean, they're not human, technically, so, I guess. <laughs> like, even he points it out. The plant restore human race at a double letter acumen. Okay, so here's what I'm gathering from this, and I'm, I'm gonna go a bit more. Okay, I'm gonna go a bit more. First of all, I wanna stop. So here's what I think happened. Sorry about the fireworks, people are... Uh, having festivities outside. Um, um, so, methane hydrates became the big thing about the energy sources that we're gonna use. And then, at some point, we someone fucked up. <laughs> someone fucked up and uh, caused 85% uh, of the world's, not, world's living creatures to die because of methane hydrates. And, I guess that would work because uh, I thought the map where methane hydrates are, so if we were to have a chain reaction there and everything just kind of blows up, that would cause some issues, a lot of issues, and it's not just the fact that it blew up, it's the fact that it would change the climate so much because of because of it suddenly exploding all together. That's, that's awful. <laughs> so that makes sense. Okay, and then we have a project in plan, which is called the Proxy Project, but uh, I'm assuming that at some point, because it doesn't feel like humans created proxies. It felt like hum proxies came out of the earth, and then, or, or heaven, or whatever, or hell, whatever. But then wherever they came from, and the proxies are living with us now. And then we tried to use the proxies similar to how the Adults explained it, where we used the Amrita cells to contain life within a dome. So that makes sense. And then, proxies are kind of hard to... to uh, to be around with because some of them can get kind of violent and stuff and then at some point we try to go to space i don't know what happened when we try to go to space but we definitely tried to go to space okay that's all i've gathered from this hopefully i'm not missing anything and it was a this again i've seen i've been watching a bunch of stuff today and uh this is literally the best i've seen of uh, exposition for so long because it doesn't give you the answer it li literally just Wow, that is so cool. Uh, uh, people need to learn how to write uh, exposition based on this very specific episode of Ergo Proxy because that is genius. The way we did this is genius and you can't tell me otherwise. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, the fact that he really seems happy when he's about to die and just doesn't give a shit anymore, like putting the mic into his... Vincent's face because yeah yeah let's get this over it I want to die I think that's what he's trying to do here so yeah what is the last bit that we saw and you're not gonna see this anymore because I closed the recording um, nightmare news still shows up so maybe this is like a recording because he dies he said that we're gonna have an announcement the adversary must be and its origins are here uh, I want to look at if that's actually where Mosque is. Look at Hezegar and think, okay, that is a really good episode. I like that a lot. Uh, we're gonna meet the final boss, which I assume is Proxy 1. The, probably the very first proxy. And I get the feeling Proxy 1 is connected with whatever Vincent did in uh, Mosque and left. It seems that Vincent killed a bunch of people in Mosque, but it also seemed like the perfect time for Proxy 1 to be introduced in that moment. So that makes sense in my head. I don't know if it does in yours, <laughs> especially since you're probably watching this after you've already watched it and you're just watching me theorize. 
Anyways, I think that's it for me. Yeah, very good episode. I wanna look at my notes for a bit. Okay. Okay, we're done. If you want to see the next episode for action and discussion a week earlier than everyone else, you can do that with a page on link below. Really helps out if you have to, but you can please too. If you can't, then leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, all the fun stuff. Bye!